Big Pan with some great tips on how to shop for the right pair of glasses to fit your face shape. I love your glasses. And we're going to talk about trends yes. and sort of fitting them for the right face. Mm -hmm. um, but first, we, knew, we want to talk about price a little bit, don't we? Very expensive normally. Yes. Um, I am showing you glasses from Theodore and Pringle Optical. Okay. They're available in grocery stores like Blah Blah Zare Superstores. And um, they're between $99 and $149. Which is good. That's what I'm presenting today. That's reasonable. That's very, very reasonable. reasonable. So okay. you go into a grocery store and you, you know, you've got your groceries done and you go in and you have a glass, pair of glasses adjusted. Uh -huh. You go in and pick some frames out. So you need your optician to help you do that. And I would say to you that no matter what you do, you better think about what's great for you, but also recognize that there are trends. Yes. So the trend is that this particular one is all about transparency, clear. Mm -hmm. We started off many years ago with a rimless one. That's right. And that was very aging. And you know what that was for? Somebody who wanted to pretend that they didn't wear glasses. Oh, is that what that Now, was about? glasses are so hip and so cool that women want to wear them and men want to wear them. You know what they are? They're a beautiful necessity. Yes. That's what they are. Yeah, they so are. So we're looking at clear, starting at really clear, mm -hmm. oval. Um, this one has a little bit more tint. It's got a bit more sparkle to it. Yeah. This one has a more defined brow in the charcoal. This has more... Um, I'm going to say tint within the clearness of it. Yeah. In that lavender color. And this one is the statement. Pretty funky. When I say statement, I mean that it's got the clear, it's got the metal arms, and it has these incredible tips on the side in the blue marble, which is again in an acetate. And this is incredible because they're universal. These will nice. really fit just about every face shape you could ever imagine. And none of them have the little nose pads. Oh, that's true. So they sit on stuff they're good for somebody with a very obvious bridge of the nose good now we go to the second and this is metals yes metals started with guys would wear aviators but the square aviators that's where it all began the trend is so hot in Europe now it's absolutely unbelievable so you can do an aviator that is completely black matte you can do one in gold and a little bit of enamel as you see mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden they begin up to become a bit more feminine and then all of a sudden there's one like this that has the tortoise shell which if somebody has no real obvious brow, they're great because they define a brow. That's right. Then you go to color metals. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that this is pink and then the tortoise in the pink and the brown and black. Totally beautiful. And then these, which are My to favorite. me the statement. I'm wearing these because for me, I have a very broad face, very broad across the temples, mm -hmm. and I need it. I don't have as much definition as I used to have. So this defines the the face so much more than a soft acetate. They're so, so good I love on that. you, Lynn. Absolutely. They're beautiful. So now I'm talking about acetate. Okay. And acetate, people know these generally as cat eyes. Yes. Uh, they think about them as um, more oversized. Yep. So we're looking at color in acetates now. This, I love the red. The red yes. is incredible. It's got Funky. speckling on the bottom so that it's a little lighter underneath the, the, um, the eye socket. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you something? I have a deep line underneath my eye socket right there. An acetate's great. It'll cover it up. Oh, nice. I love that. Yes. These are also great because a lot of them are a little bit larger, so they're really good for progressives. Mm -hmm. They're great for sunglasses. Look at this one. For somebody who says, I, I only wear black, I want you to freshen your face up, and so I find <laughs> that the black and white and a little bit of the clearness through it with the metal, yes. this defines it. This looks really, really beautiful. And this one's the statement. That's the rectangle and the cat eye. Oh, Can I, I tell you something? Her. This is really for a round face. This is for a heart-shaped face. Okay. And I will tell you the tips now, some of the tips. Yes. First of all, you must fit. This has to fit the bridge of the nose. Yeah. It can't gape at all. Mm -hmm. The arms have to be long enough so that they don't dig into the back of your ears because otherwise you tend to wear them like this. That's right. No good. No. That's not right for, for the way that you see it all. Yes. And then I will also say to you that you don't want anything that did the arms cannot dig in to the sides of the temples. Mm -hmm. And this bottom of the frame should not sit on the cheeks. Right. There you go. So we decided that we would go into our audience, our beautiful audience, and find three girls that actually were wearing represent re representatives of the glasses that we decided to show. So the big trend. So clear. Yes. So our first girl is um, is wearing a pair of 
clear, clear. glasses. And, and this is Erin, right? This is Erin, and she's Aaron. going to they change her glasses. Mm -hmm. And we, so please do. So these are still transparent yeah. with tint. Oh, and nice. they're You know what I like about these on her? That, that they're a little bit bigger. And they I are. kind of like that. They, they, they are. They, they open up her face. And they're also, they're a little facelift. Yes, which is absolutely facelift. beautiful. And then I will say to you also that um, she's quite narrow through the yes, face, yes. and yet they balance the cheek and the jawline. They're perfect. They're perfect for her. They're absolutely beautiful. So now we have Gemma. And is Gemma gorgeous. is wearing, she was wearing metal. She's wearing metal. Mm -hmm. And they are very similar to her hair color yes. in that sort of steely. They're quite nice. But we decided that we would give her something that was so much more Again, statement like. So we're going like to switch those out. Switch your glasses out. Let's and see I your new look. And I think these are just absolutely beautiful, and they balance her face magnificently. Oh, nice. Aren't they yes. gorgeous? You know what it is? It's a little bit less tiny, and I see more of her gorgeous face. You see more of her gorgeous face, but you mm. also see a defined brow. Yes. Which I She's absolutely got a good brow. adore. She's got a show really, really good brow. Finally, and then, we have Mary. And Mary, she came in with acetates, and they yeah. looked absolutely lovely on her, as you can see. But I felt like, do you know also, glasses can be, they can make you look younger. Yes. And I'm always interested in women looking more youthful. <laughs> That's how I spend my days, thinking of how to do it. So will you remove, <laughs> remove those? And we gave her color. Like, wow. Wow. like wow. Yes. yes. So beautiful. And so beautiful. You know what? It's, an, it's a necessity, you say, but it's an accessory. It's so a, have it's some fun with this accessory. And it's a beautiful necessity. It is a beautiful necessity. They, uh, so I, I think that these are all so lovely. Oh, they're beautiful, Lynn. Um, and I love the ones in your face right now. Thank you.